It's our show's tradition, actually, to spend this holiday yeah. with the same two guests year after year, <laughs> who we absolutely love and adore. And the whole planet loves them, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, let's do it. Please welcome back to the show astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson and... <laughs> <laughs> and the birthday boy himself, environmental and lifestyle expert, Danny Sian. Yeah. Right, we have another round of Earth Day, Day Trivia, Trivia Showdown. Showdown. <laughs> okay, I love that we do this every year. Neil, you know, you've come, this is your third time playing this on Earth Day, and little known fact, you have lost every single time. I, played this game. I, I came for a participation trophy this time, all right? Right, no matter what, you are going to win something. All right, Rossi, explain the rules. We, this is our third year, but how does it work? Well, it's simple. Each correct answer is worth one point, and you must wait until I or, or Drew have read the entire question and the multiple choice options before hitting your buzzer. The contestant with the most points wins our coveted Earth Day trophy. I do love our trophy. Beautiful trophy. Look at that. But, but the winner doesn't only get that beautiful trophy, they also get 100 trees planted in a designated Aww. U.S. national forest in their honor. Question number one. We all use a lot of paper products, but if you add up all the wood, paper, and paper products the average American uses in one year, how many full trees would that equal? Would it be A, seven trees, B, one tree, or C, 15 trees? Okay. Neil? 15. Oh, he's, he won. That's wrong. Oh, Neil, that's what I would have guessed too. Oh, oh, for sure it's 15. I thought so too, but the answer <laughs> is, any guesses, Danny? Um, I'm gonna go with seven. You would have been correct, seven full trees. Oh, so I don't get the point. Uh, no. Oh. Okay, no points on the board yet, it's anybody's game. Next to each of you is a recycling bin. You each have 15 seconds to pick out the three items inside your bin that cannot be recycled. 15 seconds on the clock, go. All right, they're digging through what cannot be recycled. It's filled with all sorts of things. You have eight seconds remaining. Eight seconds. Five seconds left. Pull out the three items you think cannot be recycled. One, time's up. Okay, so what did you pick? I picked this, this juice container, uh -huh. a coat hanger, uh -huh. and then I don't know what this is. All right, great guess. <laughs> it looks like an aerosol can of something. Some sort. Danny, what did you pick? Yeah, it is an aerosol can. Aerosol. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Aerosol, hanger, and styrofoam. Well, guess what? One of you is correct, <gasps> and that person is Danny. Oh! One point for you. Uh, styrofoam <laughs> is not recyclable. <laughs> Look at, do that dance one more time. Yeah, what was that? It's, it's, it's hey. <laughs> That's how he celebrates. Yeah. Styrofoam, you can't um, recycle styrofoam. No, you cannot. It doesn't biodegrade in the landfill. And then aerosol cans and wire hangers, they are used of metal, but the pressurized contents of the cans and the shape of the hanger means they could actually damage the recycling machines. Interesting, right? Mm. And depressing. Um, <laughs> and now we're going oh. live to the sun oh, wow. for our next question. All right. Yes, hello. Yes, it's me, the sun. I'm very busy. Let's get to this. Okay, question. How much of the U.S. is powered by solar energy? Is it A, 0.6%, B, 3.4%, or C, 12.3%? You guys get a lot of big stars around here, huh? What about this? I'm the biggest one. <laughs> I gotta go, I'm busy. Oh, bloated too. Oh, wow. Neil buzz. Oh, Neil, you buzzed in. Is it A 0.6%, B 3.4%, or C 12.3%? 3.4%. Lock it. You got it right! Now we are okay. tied up. Oh, this is anybody's game. <laughs> this is exciting. But we come prepared with a tiebreaker question. Whoever gets this right wins the whole thing. So Gosh. listen carefully. <laughs> Choosing a bike over a car for just one day reduces the average person's carbon emissions from transportation by how much? 
Is it A, 67%, B, 100%, or C, 88%? Danny? Going with 100. That's incorrect. It's 67%. Uh, yeah, that's emissions a lot. Cut. That is really good. We also know one other thing. That we have a tie? That we have a tie, and you're both going to win. Neil, the streak has been broken! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you are a winner, as is Danny, and you're each gonna get 50 trees! 50 <laughs> trees! And you will share custody of this beautiful trophy. Neil, I oh, like yes. this. And we, oh, oh, here I have it. We did it together. Yeah, yeah. Also, I just released this album. It's uh, Drew Barrymore Sings the Blues, featuring the number one hit, I Dream of Drift, uh -huh. which is my favorite stain removal spray. <laughs> uh, and they have such classics as, um, you know, Run Run Rossi. That's a great one. These are the only copies of these oh. albums ever made. And you each get well, one, too, you. as a parting gift. Thank you. Thank you, Danny and Neil. And you guys, be sure to check out Neil's new book, Starry Messenger, and it's available now. So we'll fun. be right back. Okay.